welcome, welcome, it is me, the emotional decision maker himself, Mugen. Yes, uh, after the robots, the robots, kidnapped Phil McCracken for the second week out of three, I figured I had to do it myself, to show up myself and, um, you know, take care of things. As you can see, Homicide in the ring already, and speaking of a robot, freaking robots, man. <sighs> Cyborg Blacksmith. The Cyborg Italian himself. I hope he loses. It's really rude to be kidnapping my commentators. The show must go on, as they did both times. Fight. Referee Aubrey Ed Edwards in the ring. And uh, Homicide started off with some clotheslines, some strikes, another shoulder tackle. Okay, okay. The, uh, the there is definitely already a long-standing feud between Cyborg Blacksmith and Homicide. These two have been in the ring together in tag competition weeks ago, I believe, and uh, maybe even months ago now. What is time? Time is a flat circle, right? Anywho, uh, I don't like that the black. I don't like that cyborg. No, oh, that's just. He's got a. He's got a cyborg face. That's just rude. Yeah, beat his ass. No, ah. Anywho, like I was saying, these two definitely don't like each other. Uh, homicide. Eddie Kingston, of course, Mr. Sensation, the 1999 crew. Been in a bitter feud with Cyborg Blacksmith and his whole crew, led by uh, none other than Elon Musk, who did lose last week to Rhea Ripley. Wah, wah. So, uh, I think the Cyborg Blacksmith is definitely looking to get a win for the squad, but well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, don't be surprised if uh, weapons start showing up in this match. Both of these competitors very skilled with the extracurricular activities in the ring. Uh, flaming tables, light tubes, forks. Uh, both of them have actually used a fork numerous times in their career. So I wouldn't put it past them to see a fork tonight. And this punch exchange lasted for a lot longer than it usually does. Pretty awesome. Homicide winning, getting the better of it for the moment, at least. Put him in a corner. Oh, oh, oh no! And a headbutt. And another headbutt. That is that is rude. That is rude. Oh, exploder. Elevated DDT and another head. That, I mean, referee every Aubrey Edwards is uh, definitely letting it happen. Yeah. Big Larry, whoa, picking him up, throwing him into the corner. Very smooth move. Oh, that is especially. Oh, and a whole lot of nothing. I have to say that 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 little uh, snot rocket there, very rude. Definitely can't be doing that in time. Should not be doing that these days. Yeah. But uh. Oh! Oh! Mm. Tumbling out. As I as, as I said it. Three. Weapons out. Light Four. tube out. Five. Homicide not phased. Seven. He said you gotta hit me with another one. Seven. And another. Oh, another belly. Overhead belly to belly. Yeah. A little mini uh. Yeah. A mini AA, aka the Fireman's Carry. And a homicide to suplex in Cyborg Blacks with another exploder. Awesome. I would like nothing more than the robots to be using because they're, they're just, they're, they're costing me business here. I mean, I, I do like booking them because they do always show up. 
the robots, the, the program to kind of show up anyway, so it's like, whatever, but... Oh! Tumbling out to the ring again. Oh, can we see some more weapons come at night? Am I good? Am I good or what? Bringing out the Asian beat stick, the kendo stick. My favorite weapon. Oh, Ace Crusher! I think both of them caught the end of that kendo stick a little bit. Maybe that's why Homicide's a little down still. And... Is that a fork? Did he whip out the fork? Oh my god. Yep, there's definitely some blood on the floor. Homicide bringing out his own kendo stick. Not even getting a chance to use it, though, no, unfortunately. Into the Tree of Woe. Stomping away at the midsection. Dragging his face across the kendo stick. I don't know. Not exactly a, not exactly a fun thing to do. Oh, that's just rude. Yeah. That is just rude. Whoa, 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 what is he doing? What is the robot doing? What is, what is that? Some hyperspeed stuff? Oh, is he looking for the dive? Big dive! Over all the words! The big dive! That is awesome. This happened to be the wrong person diving on a roll. Oh! Oh! Under the kendo stick, and another light tube entered the into the entered play, and over the head of Homicide. Homicide getting the low blow though. Uh oh, we're at almost at the 20 count. Oh boy, 19. Oh, Homicide almost won that match <laughs> off a count out, but nonetheless. Come out. What is he? What is he doing? He's going to hyperspeed. And another Ace Crusher. Oh man. Oh, come on. That could be it. One, two, two point nine. So close. Yeah. And another lariat by by Cyborg Blacksmith. Oh, he finally gets the Kendall. Maybe that's what he was going for, but uh. His wires got crisscrossed or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh man. Oh! Jeez. Another punch exchange. Another one that lasts as long as the last one, because that one was. Oh no. No! That headbutt, that's, a, that's cheating. Whoops him into the corner. Man. Oh, slapping the crap out of his knees. Oh. Shot. Shot. I gotta say this match is lasting a little longer than I anticipated. When I when I saw this was on the card or well, on the scheduled matches in the first round, I thought these two guys would have probably put themselves through a flaming table within the first five minutes of the match. I angle. Backdrop suplex. Somehow the robot gets up first. Oh no, not a Do you really have to do the snap rocket? Shot. And a big oh the big frog splash. He he like dazed himself. Oh the candlestick broke. How? He made a blast. Uh oh. He's fired up. He's fired up. Yeah. Oh, Bilariato. Oh. As a Lord of the Lariat, I can appreciate a Lord of a nice Lariat of such caliber. Even if it's coming from the wrong person. Another high angle head drop, back drop, suplex. I've always wondered though. If uh, if these robots get destroyed, will we'll, you know will Steel keep yeah. on rebuilding them? I, I don't know. We haven't seen that happen yet, so you know. Do I want to see it happen? Kinda. Shut. But I also don't want to see a new and improved robot. So. Oh, how was I going for the go for the Gringo killer? Oh. Hit him on the point. Pulls into the center of the ring. Two, three. Homicide with the victory. 
and the robots cannot pick up another win, losing once again in the tournament. We'll be back after commercials. We got baby, 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 spare ribs, roast beef, hot links, and more to give. Cube steaks, hot dogs, real tips, ooh, pork chops, turkey wings, and chicken wings, too. Give me a wave if you like catfish. Jump up if it's your favorite dish. Tommy likes ribs and chicken wings. If you like you, let me hear you scream. Wave for catfish. Scream for ribs. Ooh, and oink. We're back from commercials. Entering the ring right now, you see the Queen of the Empire champion, Dragana Caesar, one of the most dominant champions we've had. I mean, probably in all of Magic Empire history, not just Queen of the Empire history. Defeating many many formidable women along the way but tonight she is not wrestling a woman she is wrestling the drunken master himself Jackie Chan making his debut in the magic empire let's go I opened the forbidden door once again and this is match number two out of eight matches again tonight all eight first round king of the beach party matches We're about halfway, over a little over halfway through the matches now. Before the first round, so we still got some time to go. <clears throat> I know the, uh, I know the betting lines out in Hootsney World are, uh, are very busy, very popular these days. The bookies are taking all the bets on all the matches. Brackets, brackets being busted. I've seen a couple brackets being busted already. And uh, who knows? A lot of people thinking Dragana, uh, one of the most dominant champions we've had. Might be a shoe in to go pretty far in the tournament, but with a dark horse like Jackie Chan, who we've never seen in Magic Empire. Oh, spinning kick. Just like that. Kept putting Dragana away very quickly. Lots of kicks, a very hard hitting match right now. Two strikers. Oh, and speaking of strike, strike exchange. Oh. Camera, get it. This is going for quite a while here, and Dragana gets the better of it. Oh, Dragana going for the Anaconda Vice. Jackie, is he going to tap? Nope, not tapping. Not tapping. Uh, I actually have a match tonight, later on. I'm going up against Xiao Yu, uh, a former ally of mine. But uh, as we saw last week, there are no allies. There are no teams in this tournament. We saw JCS, Mr. Sensation, go up against... Oh! Oh! Murder! Wow! Wow! Just like that, Dragana goes to the next round, finishes off somebody per forever. Run, run, run! By popular demand, Cyrus has decided to stay for good. Our can store in Grafton Street has just been renovated. There are thousands of new rugs, and the prices are still the lowest. We need to clear hundreds of rugs fast. Bedroom rugs only $12. Bright modern rug, $199. Traditional rug, $395. Contemporary rug, $349. Hand knotted masterpiece, $1,500. And corridor runners are flying at the door for $59. Hurry, hurry. Only at Cyrus Persian Carpets, 142 Grafton Street, Cairns. Wow. I'm still pretty stunned after that. What happened right before the commercial break? Dragana ended Jackie Chan's Magic Empire career and is him, him completely, just like that. And speaking of somebody who I would like to end completely, Spider Ryu Matsumoto. The, the man does the man. 
What can I say? No, we don't. We've nobody likes him. Maybe except for Cassidy, his son, and some. Either way, I, I hope Bolo. I hope Bolo kicks him in the face. Bolo Young, A.K. Chong Lee. Making his return, triumphant return to Magic Empire. I don't think we've seen him in the Magic Empire for... Gosh, uh... Two years? One of the original Magic Empire competitors. I think the last time we saw him was in a match against Drago, and uh, Drago was doing his own version of the Kumite. This match could be interesting. It's a it's a face off between a striker like Bolo and and a quote unquote grappler. I, I know he's in the gi, but you know oh, and then I know he has these submission moves that are like cool and fancy, but is he really a grappler? I don't, I don't know. Uh, spider with the submission hold. Mills Lane, the referee. Keeping track of the action. Oh! Oh! Colossus! Nobody kicks out of Colossus. That's why he's picking him up. And he's gonna have another with Colossus! Oh, man. Oh, that's just... Uh, that's just mean. Oh! Oh, so, you know, that... I guess that wasn't Colossus then? Maybe that was just Dream Street. Because nobody kicks out of Colossus. Bolo with the, oh, the closed fist strikes oh, uh, from the mount. Oh! Referee obviously not giving a crap. Stretching him with another one of those weird, fancy submissions that he thinks he learned from watching a bunch of YouTube videos. Thinks he learned from a Gracie master, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't even a real Gracie. <laughs> Just like I'm pretty sure he didn't learn from a real Pepper. Oh God! Another co colossal dream streak. Oh, team <laughs> again. The rudeness. Clearly, Bolo unfazed. Kicking out a two again from well, I guess as a as a dream street, not Colossus. Not the Colossus. All I hear is just Bolo laughing, and uh, it's it's evil. It's it's horrifying. It's uh, it's, it's kind of awkward. But I do I do hope Spider loses. Uh, it would it would make me very happy. Oh, right to the Jejunum. Oh, oh God. Big combo coming from Bolo. And, uh, no, again! Again! And the teabag, again. The two count again. Uh, and I, I feel like this is, this is like... Irreparable gimmick and gimmick damaging, because uh, Spider is all about nobody can kick out of the Colossus, just like nobody beats the Wiz. But clearly, uh, two, clearly, people are kicking out, kicking out what looks like the Colossus. I know he's gonna have some long-winded spiel about what the difference between a Colossus and Dream Street is, but. Every time he brings out these flow charts, I just don't. I kind of just fall asleep. What? This is Dream Street's class. One, two. Who knows? Bolo doesn't care. Bolo clearly doesn't care. Oh! New stretch. I didn't see this one before. First time whipping this one out. The twister. And 
Bolo just keeps on trying to get control back of this match, but uh, in this match, Spider not letting him. Every time, uh, every time Bolo gets a little bit off, and Spider puts in another new submission hold. Slowing the big man down. It's, it's the right thing to do. I can't say it's the wrong thing to do, but. Oh! Back fist to the head. Oh my god. Okay. I, this is just getting silly now. Is, is this Coloss? Do you have to teabag him every time? Is it the Dream Street? Oh! As, uh. As I always tell my referees before matches start, do it, you know, call the matches at your discretion. And yeah. Mills Lane's discretion is saying, uh, Lil Mills are fine. Bolo putting his own arm lock submission. Spider. And, oh, another fancy submission hold. And that is it. Spider wins. Spider moves on to the next round. I'm not very pleased, but it is what it is. Send him back to the queue. It make you wanna slap your mama. Pop Freestyle's got the best motherfucking gyros, gyros you ever f***ing ate in your life. So good, take more lip to You got to have Peters. Peters, Pop Cristo Peters. They got everything. I'ma just give you a rundown of some of my favorites. They got taz, Taziki, Oct oh, hold on, Octopi Dekia. Well, uh, whatever, but it's good. Avalon <laughs> Mono Soup, Cobra Pizza, and they got wine too. I'm telling you, come on down to Papa Cristo's. You can't even pronounce the food, it's so goddamn good. Show them what you're working with, Papa. Show them how you do it. Hey, yeah, Papa, hey, where are you? Papa Cristo, are you here? Papa, Papa, Papa Cristo, are you here? Come on down to Papa Cristo, 2771 West Boulevard Pico. Or you can call right now and get it delivered. Papa Cristo, ooh, make you want to do the thing. <laughs> Gotta head over to Papi Christos for the Avala Man in the World Soup. Delicious. And entering at this moment, the original, the OG King of the Beach Party, the first King of the Beach Party, Bob Sapp himself, the beast. Looking to defend it. I mean, it's not really a title to be defended, but he's looking to become the two time King of the Beach Party. The last time when he won it, he became the King of the Empire immediately. So, things could be good, good for the winner. And I'm sure he would love to get his hands back on that title. So would this man, Fight. Lucas Dimsmore. A man that I, I can call a friend. Unlike Spider. Damn. It's a little conflicting in here. I, I do like both these competitors here, so, uh... Oh, big suplex. So, I, I will, uh... I will show no favoritism like I have in previous matches. Although... I'm a pretty, uh, impartial person myself. Very down the middle, very down. Mm -hmm. Referee Aubrey Edwards working double duty right now. And uh, as I said, the, the winner, well, Bob Sapp became the instant King of the Empire champion because, well, he was the inaugural yeah. King of the Empire champion. Uh, but the winner of the tournament will basically get to pick whatever they want to do. One wish, like a, like a genie kind of thing. Like, instead of three, but it's, it's, it's one, but, you know, maybe they want, they want a shot at yeah. King of the Empire. Uh, maybe they want a shot at the Queen of the Empire. Oh, tumbling out to the outside. Maybe they want a shot at the tag team titles. Who knows? I mean, if they do, I, they will get something. They'll get the business because you know, I am the tag team champions. I mean, Empress. 
Shout out to Empress. Oh! 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 Dismort! Stop them! Stop! Stop! They're getting pretty close to the count right here. Somebody's gotta get back in the ring. We already saw one near count out tonight. 16. Oh! What are they doing? What are they doing? 19! Oh! <laughs> Dimsmore gets in the ring <laughs> the last possible second and the original King of the Empire has been dethroned. There's a guaranteed new one this time around. Shout out to Empress, like I said again. Always getting that sponsorship money. Always doing big digs out there. Bobby Minio. Uh, some, someone that I have a, uh, a, a kind of a frenemy relationship as of late. I don't, I don't know. Me and him, uh, we go for way back to C4 days, but... Doesn't really see eye to eye with me too much these days, so. Eh. At least he's not a zombie anymore. I do have to say, I, I do, I do, I am glad he's no longer a zombie anymore. And making his debut to the ring is Peru, the god of pro wrestling. Brought him over straight from Rinka King. So, first time in the Magic Empire hoping that he will make an impact but eating a drop kick is not exactly no and eating a German super oh he gets up fast Bobby Minio looking to get back on the winning ways oh. big moon saw from Bobby Minio and, oh oh no big Baroon oh Bobby tumbles to the outside. Uh, I hope this is not another count out. This, uh, oh, I, I feel like the rest, the competitors tonight have not been aware of the count outs and our, well, the referee's count. Oh my gosh, it's going to happen again, isn't it? Oh, get a 15. No. Okay. Whew. I was going to say, two count outs in one night? Come on, boys. Bobby Minio counting his, calling his shot right there. Hitting a big brain rust. The one man revolution himself is now in the air. He's the one man suplex victim. Referee Herb Dean, uh, I hope he doesn't just, you know, allow one of these competitors to be completely uh, incapacitated. And, oh, no! <laughs> Again! Oh, my gosh, Maroon! The Indian megastar just tossing Bobby Min Oh! Liberation frequency. And a fancy roll-up. Three, that's it. The one man revolution. Bobby Mini take care of Barood. Not letting his debut be a good one. Can't blame him. We'll be back after this commercial break. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're going to make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally fry. Guess what you're going to get? 
nothing. If it fit through the dough, I put it in the fry. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All our meats are gently tenderized to their optimum deliciousness. We got fine dinosaur meats. Took my money, paid me pay child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. Once they get your social security number, it's over. Motivated, 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 motivated. So friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot specialists or myself perform our magic? Look at that, don't they look wonderful? If you really pay me enough, we'll massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Success is the rule down here at Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. So go ahead and give me a call or find us on them worldwide internets at the new website. That's J-O-N-E-S Big Ass Truck Rental and Storage dot com backslash Jones Good Ass Barbecue and Foot Massage dot H-T-M-L. Excuse me, did you call number 52? Did you hear me call number 52? Welcome back. Gotta say, the Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage commercial always looks good. That's why they are one of our happy sponsor ads. Coming into the ring right now, though, South Beach's own Bernice. She's been on a bit of a losing streak as of late, so looking to get back in the, in the thick of things. Facing her is the man himself, ladies and gentlemen. The weekend. The weekend uh, has been on a tear as of late, though. So it's it's a it's a match both of them don't can't afford to lose. One uh, can't afford to have another loss, and the weekend wants to keep his streak going. Oh, into the STF. Clinical. Bit of a power. Oh, oh, <laughs> do oh wow. As, as I was saying, a bit of a, a power mismatch here. The weekend's a little bit smaller, very quick. Whereas Bernice is all about that pure brute strength. Uh, I've seen her rip a door off a car before. Crazy. Stay down. Yep. Here the weekend saying yep. stay down. Bye. Right. Oh, I, I don't know who he's going for. Maybe some type of a, you know, fancy, fancy schmancy leg lock. You know, I would I would consult somebody, but the one person that does know about fancy schmancy leg locks is the Spider, and I don't want to talk to him anymore. More than I need to in my lifetime. Big sidewalk slam from Bernice. Now you see the power difference right here. Bernice is picking up the weekend, slamming him down, whereas the weekend is using his clever striking abilities and quick grappling skills with the, the joint locks. Oh, well, you know, yeah, right there, a little jawbreaker, but the, the, the power. The power of Bernice. The power! Oh! Just slapping her across the chest. That's. That's that's rude. Oh, not even she's not phased by the little flippy kick. Ah. Two. Oh, and a quick roll up. The weekend. Two. Oh man. So yeah, these are the, the quick, the quick movements. What he's got to do to capitalize and get a victory. And a nice kick to Enziguri combo right there. But she, uh, Bernice, does not stay down for very long. Not very long at all. Another roll up. One, two. No, nothing. Referee Harada, look, keeping track of the action here. Weekend hitting that Enziguri again and going into the wild flippy pin. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he got her. Oh, he got her up in the air. One, two. Wow. 
I don't know how you manage that. That was impressive. Got her up in the air. Hit her chest across his knees. Roll up one, two. The weekend just wants to get out of this match as quickly as possible, taking the least amount of damage. Genius move on his part. STF not enough. I don't think he's done enough uh, lock, you know, damage to her upper body and her neck and her head area. Two. Yeah, not enough damage to warrant submission victory from the STF yet. Oh, the big spin kick. We seen to put away people. We actually saw him uh, completely annihilate. AC Cobra weeks ago with that kick, so that was almost, oh, that was almost it. He's waiting. And a blockbuster, pretty. Into the big knees. And another, oh, drops her across the knees of his. Is this it? One, two, ow. Bernice has not has not muttered any damage or any sort of offense in the past I don't know two three minutes. It's just been all the weekend right now, and the weekend still can't put her away. Big DDT. Oh, big boot from Bernice. All right, just as I said. <laughs> Just as I was saying, she wasn't putting any offense in. She's whipping out some offense right now. Still not phased by that flippy kick. Is he gonna try for it again? Oh, connects this time. She's stunned. He's making this. Oh! Spin kick! That is it. That is all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen. The weekend, and I gotta run. I got my match up next. Stay around for commercials. myself up got a little mic earpiece in my head thingy my ears what's up everybody yeah cheer for me cheer for me yeah let's go let's do this let's do this hang on big fast oh, I Not too, nah, too fast for you. Oh! Uh. Ow! Come on, get, 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 get me out. Uh. 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 Hey, look, unhand me, unhand me! Ah! Uh. Ah, take that, take that. Ah! 
Nah, you know that was over, Mr. Clean. You know that was over. Ah, get that. It's over. Council million, ref. Council million. Let's go. Council million. Ah, come on. I'll throw you in a rope. Oh, hey. Talk quick. Ha ah, ha! Count to a million, ref. Nah, I'm gonna do it. That's right. Ha ha! Let's go. Oh! oh. oh. That's what you get. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. Oh, that's what, that, that's what I'm talking about. Super kick. My bad. Yeah, take that. Fix. Let me get a breather. Oh. Get that, let me get that Asian beat stick. Now, don't you count me. You can't count me. I know. I got 20. Ah. Take this. Count oh. to a million, ref. Ah, you know that was a million. You know that was it, ref. Ah. Nation. Let's go. No, watch the wheel kick. Let's, let's finish this. Immunization time. Oh. Count to a million, ref. Count to a million. One, two, three. Let's go. Advance to the next round. Me. Main event time. I'm going to get back to the booth right now. Good taste is really important to me. I like things that are high powered, responsive. <laughs> Full of life, and that's just in my choice of drink. For maximum energy, great taste, and all my go, get with the cola that's not for wimps. Colombian cola, available from these stores now. And in my men, I like a great body, sexy eyes. All right, got these notes in front of me back in the booth. No, no, no notes. That was a tough one. Call in the ring right now. Another man, great man, UCWB commentator, Jake Allen. Coming to the ring, out of the entrance, down the entrance way now. I can't speak, I don't know, I'm winded. That was a lot harder than I thought. T17 coming to the ring, formerly known as B17. Jake Allen looking to continue his vic winning streak recently defeating the great legendary Nate Ortiz thank god uh, even though I don't always appreciate Jake Allen uh, you know, calling, the, sh calling uh, the operation we run here a little bit uh, rickety or whatever third rate sometimes you know what I have to appreciate the fact that he beat Nate Ortiz and, uh, anybody who beats Nate Ortiz is, is good in my books so uh, I let him slide uh, T17 obviously representing the unified robotic force we already saw one of his compatriots match earlier tonight 
a cyborg blacksmith and on the losing end. So uh, he's definitely trying to pick up a victory for them because I don't think any one of them has won yet so far. Uh, Elon's lost, uh, Steel lost, Johnny D. Yeah, I mean, it's just up to him and the, uh, I think the last competitor from their crew is, is a Cyborg Russ tumbling out to the outside. T-17. Referee Herb Dean again. Working that double duty. Oh, the, I don't, Jake, I don't, I don't know if the nerve lock is going to work on a robot, you know. Do they even have nerves? Do they have feelings? Strength exchange time. Boom. 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 Thank God I didn't go any longer. <laughs> Still winning from that match. Sidewalk slam. Shall you definitely put up a bigger fight than uh, I had? I was hoping for. I was hoping to get by quickly with that first round matchup. I uh, don't have the bracket in front of me, so I can't tell you who I, um, I have the opportunity of possibly facing next. But go on the website, check it out. Oh, almost a three count there. I, that hand was coming down. Jake Allen calling this for. Call for the big choke slam or the big power bomb, possibly. The big man, Jake Allen. Always love it when Jake Allen's on commentary. I, I, I do have to. I do have to say that much. Big man going from corner to corner, almost. Or I mean, not almost. He did. Bingo. T <laughs> seventeen. The cyborg bingo bomber. All he can do is just get some punches in. That punch again, but once it. Oh! Oh! Gave him a noogie into a headlock into a punch. Yeah, Jake is in full control of this one. All B17 or T17, excuse me, can do right here is try to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of offense. Maybe something will streak up. Hopefully, something will start happening for him. Oh, oh! Big Jake out the choke slam. <laughs> Jake Allen, he's broken the robot. T17 is just. Barking up in the ring right oh my god he's just the circuits everywhere oh my god thank you for watching we'll be right back with another episode next week bye